folks, this is the last uh, devotional that we're going to be having on the book of Acts. It's been such an amazing journey going through these 28 chapters together. And this morning I'd like to close with, um, with something I started yesterday morning. As we look back on the book of Acts, we clearly see two things. And that's what I spoke about yesterday. First of all, that God uses His people that it is really his determination and you see it all through the book of Acts that he uses ordinary people from all walks of life business people government people but then the apostles you know you see them uh, Peter Paul you see the uh, the deacons who appointed Stephen Philip um, who, who waited on tables but yet you see God using them in incredibly powerful ways and so it's really God using his people but then also you see in the book of Acts his purposes that the gospel would be spread that people would be saved that people would be healed that his kingdom would be established and how they were led by the spirit to actually day by day fulfill God's purposes but lastly I'd like to talk about that all of that comes at a price and that price is that they would be willing to lay down their lives Jesus um, said right in the beginning, if you want to be my disciple, you need to take up your cross daily and follow me. And it's one of the things that we learned in the book of Acts is that there are always prices to be paid. We see this even in the last chapters of, of uh, you know, the book of Acts that we went through and Paul's life being shipwrecked on the island, going through a lot of troubles, going through uh, uh, persecution and being in, being in jail. And in the end, he actually paid the ultimate price, which is with his life. And he was beheaded in Rome. And so did all the other apostles. In fact, only one of the apostles, namely John, did not was not killed violently. He actually died of old age. Um, you know, and so the rest of the, the, the apostles all paid with their lives. And we see it all through the book of Acts, the price, not just paying with your life, but the persecution, the, uh, the hardships that you need to go through. Uh, for the kingdom of God to be established. And so I'd like to um, say to you this morning that this is part and parcel of the Christian life. What is, what is the same for the disciples 2,000 years ago is the same for us today. We all have to pay a price. We all have to be willing to give ourselves fully for these purposes. And, and to be God's people also implies that sometimes we, it won't be popular, sometimes it would be hard, sometimes we'd have to go against the current for his kingdom to be established, sometimes we'll have to be ridiculed by those who do not believe, sometimes we might even be asked to pay the ultimate price. And it's surely happening today in many countries of the world. So as we close this book of Acts, remember that this is what it's all about. It's God's kingdom that he establishes through his people, it's his purposes being fulfilled every day. And for that, we need to be willing to pay the price, just as he did by giving his life as a sacrifice for all humanity. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for this journey through the book of Acts. Thank you that we could learn that you want to establish your kingdom and use us as your people to accomplish your purposes. Help us to be willing to pay the price every day, no matter what the cost. For this to be accomplished in Jesus name we pray. Amen. May God bless you and have a wonderful weekend.